Welcome to tutorial number 180. In this tutorial, we will talk about the feature section. As we see in the picture below here, or the section comes straight after the analysis section. As you might notice, this feature can be found in other sections, but there is a reason why they are in this small tools sections because they have some specific importance. We will talk about the split line feature and then talk about the draft, move face and then the scale and see how they are related to the mold tools section. In the previous tutorial we performed a parting line analysis for this cup and we took the right plane as the direction of pole and we got the parting line shown as we see. Maybe in this case for this cup, maybe the, the best pole direction is the top plane and that's why we will try to make another example to see to run the parting line and then talk about the split line. Also we perform the split line or parting line analysis on the mobile cover and if we took the direction of pole to be the right plane as you notice click ok you didn't get any line so that is clear that is not the right direction of pole or you cannot for example mold this part in two separated each half in one separated part of the mold so that's why again we run the parting line analysis and pick the top plane and once you have the parting line analysis on you'll notice there is no any appearance or colors on the part so let's start making a new part this time we'll make a simple vase and try to make parting line and then how to use a split line as a helping tool here I will insert four planes parallel to the top plane and in each plane I will draw a circle 30 and on the second plane another circle make it 40 and on plane number 3 another ther another circle and give it a dimension of 100 here again another circle give it dimension of 60 and then the last circle give it dimension of 75 and go to feature boundary boss and select So this is a simple vase, plastic vase, and for this kind of part, because it is curved, it might not be possible to make the direction of pole to be on the top plane. Let's just hide the planes. It will be difficult to extract this from one side. 
so let's go to more tools parting line and if we pick the two plane this shows that this part with this complexity can be molded on three parts because this side to the left if you separate it and that side by itself can be easy to be injected and extracted and the second side and so on but this might be not logical and let's try now to find a better solution go to parting line and this time select the right plane and here we go a more logical solution with one parting line and we said that parting line represent the, the line between the sides of the mold here we can add appearance to this so again go to the parting line and select the right plane and here we got the parting line but you might need to not to work on the parting line mode so you can deactivate it and instead as we know that there is the parting line is over there we can make a sketch on the front plane and draw a line matching the parting line and exit and then we can go to the split line and select the face which will be this face and select projection click ok so here you can deactivate the parting line and you get the appearance again and by split line as a helping tool so here the split line you will get the a preview for so by performing the parting line analysis we knew that the line over there in the middle representing the parting line and we made a sketch that is matching that parting line and to keep it as a reference while working or to see it without the need of activating all the time the parting line analysis mode we created a split line and now let's talk about the next feature it is also an important feature in injection molding tools every part as we said in, to make it easier to extract should have an, a drop perform a draft analysis for this phase and we'll see what will happen for example we will need a three degree draft angle and here is the side of the ball and you will notice that we have kind of not logical combination here you have the positive draft and then get the negative draft and again you will get a positive drop this side might be very difficult as we said to be injected with the direction of pole is the top plane and we know we said that we made the parting line on the right plane let's go back to one of our part or the mobile cover as you remember we added a drop when we performed a draft analysis and we added a drop and fix it all the faces over there so it is important to get a draft to make the part easier to extract for example we can run draft analysis let's make a part a new part Here let's extract a cylinder and perform a draft analysis
here you'll notice that there are a side that need a draft in order to be easier to be extracted so here are required draft that why the draft feature is important in injection molding tools so we can make a draft pick draft and here the neutral plane would like to be this plane and face to draft this face click ok and now let's perform the draft analysis and pick this face and the reference 0.5 click ok now here our part is green so in order to make it a bigger draft angle for example three degrees we can edit the draft to make it three degree draft angle click ok and the draft you can make it inside or outside and let's run the draft analysis pick this face and here a reference to be two degrees and we have our cup is green and now let's talk about the next feature the move face we said when we are performing the parting line analysis we get the the parting line for example in this case is the edge and if we would like to expand this to make the parting line join or to make an offset for that face we can use the move face feature but in this case because this simple cylinder or simple cup the parting line will not be shown but we can try to use the move face if we have the direction of pull is the top plane and we would like that 10 millimeter on the other side to be molded in the other side of the mold for example in the case of our vase so let's first use the parting line or the move face on the simple part if we select the move face the option which will be used is the offset but the used in our mold tool case is the offset select this offset and we said 10 millimeter and here we move that face for example for some reason that we would like the parting line to be on the top plane and the part over the top plane will be injected on the other side of the mold this is only an example for example if we run the parting line analysis and we pick the top plane here we not see any parting line because it will take the edge but with the help of split line we can draw a sketch normal to and make a 10 millimeter which is on the origin split line and select the face and here have our split line and as we said this is only an example we can try to use it also on the face go to move face select and we said let's make it 30 millimeter try to use it on the mobile for example we would like to extend the edge of this face over here to be matching the the screw cylinders we can pick move face and make it one millimeter click ok but i will delete this feature for now and we can solve it by adding 
another edge or a snub fit edge. So now let's move to the next feature, which is also a very important feature scale. As we know that materials are expanding with heat and shrink when they become colder. And also it is the case with plastic, injected molded plastic or uninjected molded parts. When they are hot, they are bigger in volume and when they are getting colder, they shrink. That's why, for example, in this mobile, if you would like to have to inject this mobile with the size shown in here, we should add in consideration that this plastic part will shrink, for example, 5%. For that reason to solve this you need to add a scale you have many options but the most used is the centroid it will scale and here you pick uniform scaling and we will make it five percent bigger it means 1.05 so this is the part which you need to design a mold for it.